Hello, good evening and welcome to episode 21 in HD. Good wow. evening. At HQ. Afternoon. <laughs> How are you? Of the award-winning, world-famous Korg Microcast Micro. podcast. As always, I'm Adam, your host, joined with Superfingers himself, Mr. Luke Edwards. Hello there. And Andy Pullen. Hello. Um, straight from the set of Peaky Blinders <laughs> today. <laughs> what, what is that yeah, about? I think there's some bins out there. <laughs> to take them out. It's the For those of you on podcast format, Andy's wearing a flat cap. I so, think uh, I look... Andy Just Cap. Average. He'll be so known Andy as Cap. That's Andy fine. Cap. It's better than Lambskin. We move on from that. Yeah, we've fine. moved on. No, yeah. We've, yeah. You know, 21. 21 episodes. Not 21. including the point fives, of course, but <laughs> that's that's good. I think you should give we yourself a round of applause, everybody, for that. Yeah. So as you can see, we've uh, nice upgraded thing. a little bit. We're in HD. Mm. Different format. We're trying a few different things. Yeah. So we'll see. I think the biggest change here is for Luke, because we're now on the wrong sides, you realise. I'm totally freaked. Do you know what? It's weird. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a bit strange, isn't it? But it's weird. It means that I'm closest to the door, so any trouble, not a problem. Yep, indeed. Indeed. So, yeah. what have we been up to? We had, uh, obviously, lots of snow last week, so we'll get to that in the news section in a minute. A few events were cancelled. Oh. Yeah, it was uh, challenging. It was. We came to a grounding halt. We did. The UK, as usual, uh, with a slight bit of snow. Um, so, shall we crack on and get into the news? Yeah, let's have a little jingle. Let's, uh, jingle time. News. So. News, big news this month. We've got a prologue this month arriving mm. in dealer's stores. Very, very soon, isn't it? Very, very, very soon. Not happened as yet. Uh, as we day is the 9th of March. It's not happened as yet, but close to the end of the month, that will be in stores for everybody to go and try. But obviously, as I mentioned before, we had a bit of a snow problem last week, uh, and we had to cancel an event. We did. We, we've been hanging out in Sheffield. Well, we didn't hang out in Sheffield because it was cancelled. So, yeah. a date for your diary, it's been uh, moved to the 4th of April. Oh, yeah. there we go. So, it's not, you know... It's just postponed. Just postponed. Yeah. Due to snow. Because i tell you what, if there's, a, if there's anywhere in the UK you're not going to get to during snow, it's Sheffield. You know? Yeah, so we Hence decided... That's why we cancelled it. Yeah. We cancelled it at the uh, last minute. Uh, we're also at the... Is it the... What's the festival you're at this weekend? This is uh, Synthwave. Synthwave. It's yeah, it's a one-day festival in Birmingham. So you're yeah. there. So, uh, but by the time you hear this, it may have already happened. But we'll tell you all about it next time. Yeah, indeed. Uh, we've also got the Brighton Music Conference, mm. the 25th to the 28th of April this month, and we've also got the Learn to Play Day. For those of you that are in Milton Keynes on the 17th of this month, what is it, Luke? You tell us. You've done it before. It's a day of learning mm. to play. There you so, go. Basically, you turn up. You can um, book. On- online, I think check our website for the address, and then you can basically book a slot with a teacher and get a free few music lesson on all sorts Are of you teaching? instruments. I'm teaching, yeah. You could get a lesson with super fingers. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's get, wow. And it, how much is it? Free. How much? Free. 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 Wow. free. You don't get anything for free. <laughs> free a lesson super with Luke. Lesson. But it's Good not great. just me. It's some other teachers <clears throat> there doing guitar. We're not interested in the other teachers. <laughs> <laughs> They're not here right now. We're free. <laughs> Good grief! Wow. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, yeah. well, I'm going to sign up, you know. Yeah. So Teach there you, you go. Learn so, some, uh, so, yeah. So, what else have we got to talk about? What other news, what other newsworthy items do we have this month? I, I, I kind of want to ask about something you have in front of you there, which I don't know if this is newsworthy, <laughs> but there's... <laughs> you, you, what? So, I what came in today, and I was handed this. It's a bar of chocolate. Yes. <laughs> Korg bar of chocolate that someone wants to do for us. Right, okay. So whether or not it will actually happen or not, I don't think it probably will, but that means there's one bar in the world one. of Korg chocolate. So, so, we so here it, it is. Can, can we, we allowed to eat it? I don't think we are allowed to eat no. it. I don't even know if it's real. I don't it's nice even, with a brew, that. It would actually go yeah. nice with a with brew. But yeah, so there you go. I think everyone listening and watching There's also no best, because saying, it's only yeah, like a... Um, 
promo or a promo, as Lim- you probably prototype. say. Prototype. It's a limited prototype. edition. Uh, yeah, limited edition. There's no best before on it, so it might actually not. Oh, be, right, it might yeah. not be edible. Might be best after. So anyway, yeah, there it is. It's like 20 years old, isn't it? Yeah, cold cool. cool. bar of wow, chocolate. Okay. So that's that. So there that's, we go. that covers that one. That's that as well. And what we also have something on the counter here, which yes, for those this? of you that subscribe to the new Korg World magazine. So if anybody's got a PA a Ranger product. You can uh, now subscribe to a magazine. So me and Luke are involved with uh, putting that together. Got our mugshots in there. Uh, all you need to do is if you go to corgworld.co.uk, that's corgworld.co.uk, uh, pop your details in there, you get a free issue. So you can see what it's all about. That's so good. Uh, everybody needs to do that. I'm in it, Luke's in it. What sort of uh, things are, can you read about in there? Well, it's, it's things like, uh, well, it's... You know, it's kind of a, a paper version of the podcast almost, <laughs> to a certain degree. There's a chronology yeah. in there. But obviously, it's all arranged at arranger keyboards. So there's And the, there you are. Got Look the, at this. Yeah, yeah. There's, Look, yeah. All right, all <laughs> right. Look, we're famous. Look, there he is. Yeah, so um, we talk about new products, obviously. We talk about some of the clubs that we've been doing up and down the country. We talk about how to use your keyboard. We talk about... All Cork sorts. Chronology. Cork There's chronology. chronology. See, this is happening. In issue one, actually, what's really good is if you get your free magazine, it's got the history of Korg yeah, in it. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's actually. Really so that, yeah. that is actually really yeah. interesting. So for those of you that want to find out about the history, uh, korgworld.co.uk, sign up, you get your free, free again, free. Free. Magnificent. Free. Got to start charging. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you do. It's a subscription magazine, but the yeah. first epi- uh, the first it's edition is free. Free. There you go. Fantastic. So that's that. And on the back. On the back. We've got this fantastic advert. Yeah. For a new stand. Oh, yeah. Sequins. So everybody that's got any kind of keyboard or piano uh, needs to check these out. These are called sequins. We'll have more information um, next month. I'm just going to tell you what the website is, actually, if you do want to have a sneaky peek. It's www.sequins with a Z, music gear, so all together, dot com. So S E Q U E N Z, sequins gear. What was yeah. it? Music gear. Sequins, S E Q U E N Z, music gear, yeah. dot, dot com. com. And then it's all in Japanese, so you won't be able to <laughs> really understand it. You can kind of see what they look like. But these there is an English more. switch, yeah. so you can turn it on and have a look. So basically, those of you that have seen the Grand Stage or the Vox Continental will like the stand, I'm sure, that those products come with. That's a sequence stand, so you get an idea of the form factor and there's going to be different sizes, yeah, different colours. You'll be able to get different sizes, you'll be able to get more tiers, so if you want to double stack your keyboards or even triple stack them. Yeah, so, so you, you can look like great. Pete Shaw. Yeah, that's right, you can have all your... Yeah, with your gear surrounding you. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. 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 indeed. So yeah, so that will we'll give you more information as when that is available. So yeah, anything else? What else? What else have we been up to? What have you done with your lives? In the <laughs> what last have you month? done with your lives? Yeah, when did we do the last one? It wasn't that long ago, was it? It, it feels was, like a while ago to me, you know. Was it? Oh, God. We obviously had to cancel. This was supposed to be last week as well. Ah, that's so what it is. That's why I'm getting yeah. confused. Yeah. That's what it it's was. It's strange. Had to postpone the podcast. Yeah, it's snow, you see. Tell yeah. you what, a bit of snow. Everything on ground. grinds to a halt. Yeah, everyone uh, decides that they can't do anything. And well, you phoned me, now, didn't you, as a southerner. You were like, go on. And you're sitting at home, and it's like, no, I'm out on the road. You're like, oh, well done. <laughs> well, but well, the only reason I had to get on the road is because I knew you'd phone. i tell you what annoys me, though. Why does everybody buy bread? When he, do you know, remember, what? what stock up lad seriously <laughs> did you not have bread shortages down south we did up north <laughs> bread shortages well you know they announced that there's going to be like a, a severe weather warning or whatever and then Everyone all the bread. loaves Everyone of bread disappears piles. yeah from uh, tesco and can't, Asda and can't stuff. say i sort of saw that wow. i have to say but yeah and it goes to waitrose that's why thing is, we, we, we already had loads of bread as well so yeah. it's fine <laughs> Had a freezer full, ironically. Have we got any bread in? <laughs> Aye, we're all right, love. Yeah. Right, right. No, you wouldn't say it like I'll that. I'll stay in. <laughs> oh, just going to head back to the mic. It's because of the hat. Uh, mm. You got any bread in, darling? <laughs> yeah, we got some bread in, Andy. <laughs> right, it's okay, love. We don't need to go and buy any more. <laughs> so, so, yeah. That's exactly what my house sounds like. <laughs> so, yeah, well played. Good. Yeah, right. so, yeah so we had uh, lots of snow problems. Uh, did, did Pete tell you earlier what happened to his car? When the snow no, came. No. Well, well Pete, for those of you that remember Pete Shaw, he's been on a couple of episodes. He's our resident PA Ranger keyboard specialist demonstrator. Um and he lives in the hills. He basically <laughs> lives on top of a mountain <laughs> in he's, Wales. If there's yeah. gonna be anywhere, he's gonna be, uh, <laughs> He's still, he hasn't been home for a week, has no, he? He's saying he today, to, he to, yeah, you tell he's, um, he's, he's still, he had his driveway, 
He's six foot deep in snow. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. And even now, what are we, a week later, it's, it's still... still three foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what did, he, what did he say Definitely with his car? He's, he's left it in a lay-by like half a mile away. <laughs> So he has to walk every time so he wants like to go snow out. Shoes and yeah. <laughs> so he can still do his gigs. He's left it fully loaded with gear. I shouldn't really. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't really that. say that. This is currently it's part somewhere time. in Wales. So there's, a, there's a van yeah. somewhere in Wales full of gear. Uh, just just <laughs> drive around till you hear the theme from Lord of the Rings in the close, basically. So, so. <laughs> so. right. So there we go. Oh, look, we've got no signal on. So uh, uh, this new good. TV setup that we've got going on. Yeah, we're, we're failed, trying something new here. Failed at the first hurdle. Right, well, um, sh- should we, um, should we move? We're done here, aren't we? Should we move on to the next section? Should well, we, what we I'm going to do, I think what we'll do is we'll just talk about the different sections that we're going to do. Yeah. And then we'll have a break. Yes. Right. Okay. In that case, I'm you can fix fiddle this. if you want. You, you okay. have yeah. a fiddle. So obviously, we, we start off with a bit of a news and general chit chat. Uh, <laughs> then we, we move on to a new, uh, another uh, section called chronology. Chronology, look back at, in the Korg vault at one of our many iconic pieces of gear. Uh, he's got it back on. Play it he's, he's sorted. He's nice. sorted. Uh, then we go into gear goggles, of course, where um, different bits of gear that's been spotted on TV. I tell you what, though, I'm going to jump ahead. I'm just going to slide one in there. Yeah. How good is it with the um, Justin Timberlake at the Super Bowl? So Very good. Cool. So good. Yeah. And at the so Brits. For those of you that caught the uh, Super Bowl, or at least just the entertainment halftime show, Justin Timberlake played is the uh, half-time section, his keyboard player had a Kronos and a Prologue. Yeah. And it was like in full sight for... It was amazing. So good. How much money does it cost to have a Super Bowl ad for 30 seconds? It's something like we, ridiculous. We've it's been millions. there before. Yeah, 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 we yeah. did actually, yeah. yeah. It was a lot of money, yeah. Well, that's, that's you know... Yeah. And there it is. There it is. So, so that was pretty... Co- and then he was on at the Brits. Yep. And he had it there as well. Did, yeah, yeah. Tell you what. Good on you, lad. Result. Good on you, Justin. So that's gear goal, so we'll come back to that. Uh, and then we've got something to talk about in meetups. We've got downloads, of course. A uh, bit about what Tony Volker Tips has been up to, because we've not heard from Tony for a while. It's all being a bit mm. quiet. It's all he's, gone quiet. He's still going strong, though. Yeah, so we're just going to talk a little bit about what Tony's up to. And then I've just got wrap up. So Which is just our general ramblings. Just We'll just waffle on for a little bit. Mm. Um, so now's your time, Andy, if you want to go and have a brew. Luke's just finished his brew, so I it's think it's a good time. time. That. Brew time. Yeah. Brew time. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's See do you in a minute. Bye bye. Welcome back. We're all brewed up. I'm ready into the next section. Let's get chronology. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have it. Jingle time. Core chronology. Chronology. Right then. What we got? What year are we? We're 1972. That can only be one product. Well, it could be. A few products, but can anyone guess it what can it can be? be. What it, uh, it's pretty obvious what it is. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little Lego man on the Odyssey there. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be the Odyssey. The, so, very good choice. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, the Arp well Odyssey, uh, this was. Tell us about it, Luke. Uh, came out in 1972. Now, just a little bit of background on Arp first, okay. because obviously it's not Korg, so we need to just learn a little bit about what Arp were like as a company and where they came from. So, they were actually founded in 1969 by a guy called Alan Robert Perlman, and actually jointly founded by him and David Friend. Uh, it was an American manufacturer of electronic musical instruments, so that's all they made. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the 70s, the two main players for performance synths were ARP and also Moog, of course. Um, so the instruments of choice at that time for synth players were the Mini Moog and either the ARP 2600 or 
the Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Um, so the 1970s saw the launch of the ARC 2500, which was a large modular synth. It was massive. Um, it was famously used on the song Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who. Yeah. So they made that sound at the very beginning yeah. of it. Ah, which is in the Kronos. It is. Um, it's a preset. It was also featured very heavily in the movie Close Encounters of the Third yeah. Kind oh. in 1977. It was actually... That was actually the synth they used when they were communicating with the spacecraft at the oh, end. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's that's so, really good. Um, and as you see these pictures go through, you'll see a picture of Sp- Steven Spielberg um, like next to that synth on set, which is pretty cool. When um, we get to that, I'm probably just going to go, this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, Phil Dodds, who is actually the technician, he was sent to install the unit on the set. And he ended up actually being in the film. <laughs> as what a job is that? That's amazing. That was like it? when you took that. Was it? You took a G one A to that yeah, mansion the other month while it was being filmed on yeah. TV, the and you yeah. and you couldn't get out. The Victorian right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so other notable artists who used that the twenty five hundred were Jimmy Page, David Bowie, uh, Jean Michel Jarre, Vangelis, Jeff Wayne, and World yeah, of the Worlds. Boy of the Worlds. Uh, and craft work as well. So then, the following year, 1971, um, saw one of the most beloved synthesizers in history hit the market. That was the ARP 2600, and we're just always getting requests. Yeah. Please, 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 can you now, reissue this? We week? did. We did. No, did loads well, of we did so, yeah. the. Um, what was it? We did the hangout in Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, we were there, and we had some special guests there. Uh, can you remember who they were, Luke? Well, Steve Levine was there, wasn't he? But he was. He was. Yeah. He was there indeed. And one thing Steve Levine said: "I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> if you do a limited run, I will buy it." Is that what he said? Yeah, I, I don't care how much it is. In fact, ask them to make one for me, and I will <laughs> buy it. The Steve Levine edition. Yeah, yeah. and he was raving about it because obviously he understands just, it would be a lot of money, but it's he, a very special. He, if it was a, a special edition, limited, only ten in the world or whatever, yeah. he'd buy one. Yeah. So well, it's still love today. It was a semi-modular synth, um, and it, that made it kind of more immediately accessible to musicians, and also very popular in colleges and universities for teaching synthesis. Because up until then, a lot of the synths were literally modular synths, where you had mm, to kind of yeah. understand all the patching and the, mm. the routing and everything. Whereas this was semi-modular, so without any patching, you could get started and make it some cool sounds. Uh, this was used by many famous artists again, you, including Edgar Winter. Oh, uh, the start of that what a track tune. that's 2600 uh, Pete Townsend <laughs> Stevie Wonder Joe Zawinul um, and my favourite one is the fact that Ben Burt the sound designer for Star Wars mm. he used an ARC 2600 combined with his own voice to create the sound of R2-D2 hmm. um, I've actually got a little clip of him talking about that so All I'm right, just going to play that it's quite interesting <clears throat> it's really short but it's good if I can find it here we go the voice of R2-D2 uh, was the hardest sound effect I ever had to make because there was really no precedent for it. Most robots in movies had spoke English or they spoke some language that you understood or they had a moving mouth so you had some idea. Uh, the script of Star Wars just said that R2 made electronic sounds. It didn't really specify exactly when R2 would talk or you know the, the quality of the noise. Um, it took me six months to figure that out. Uh, and I was really nervous because R2 had to talk and act with Alec Guinness, of all things. Yet you couldn't understand a word that R2 would say, but you had to understand the, the meaning behind it. Um, it ended up being a problem solved by combining a keyboard ARP synthesizer, which I had at the time, which made electronic sounds, and my voice making funny little R2-like noises and uh, performing them together and spending endless hours editing and clipping little snippets out of that sound and stringing them together to give it some sense of meaning. And uh, it was really actually probably about the hardest sound effect I ever worked on. And uh, you know, we thought it would never work. We thought audiences wouldn't understand R2 at all and we'd be lost. Uh, but boy, were we proven wrong and uh, now it seems to be part of the culture. So I'm thankful for that. So may the force of sound be with all you droids. So long. What a job. <laughs> That's your jo- I, mean, I, mean, it's, yeah. I can't believe it took him six months. <laughs> yeah. That's great. It's so good though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and he yeah. actually name checked the, the art, art brand there as well, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, probably one of the most iconic sounds in movie history, I would argue, created on an ARP 2600, which mm. is amazing. Also, I found out, because he did the sound on Red of the Lost Ark as well, he used the 2600 to create the sound effects 
of the Ark of the Covenant when it was opened. Oh, really? Oh, no way. Because you've got all those kind of nice synthy kind of swirling and some pads and stuff. Yeah. Which happened when it opens, and that was done on twenty sixteen as well. I'll tell you what. So, anyway, back to the Odyssey anyway, because that's yeah. actually what we're yeah. supposed to be talking about. But I just wanted to give you a flavour for the art brand and how mm. kind of powerful it is, really, and iconic. So, in 1972, they launched the ARP Odyssey. So, this was like a, a kind of a cut-down version, in a way, of the 2600. And the product concept was to produce an instrument to rival the Mini Moog, which was very f- popular, uh, which was portable and affordable. Uh, the Mini Moog was about $1,500, roughly. Um, so they scaled down the 2600 to create the Odyssey. Um, so around that same time, um, other synths we existed were things like the Korg, Mini Korg 700, of course, mm-hmm. which we covered on the, the very first chronology, first, yeah. episode one. Uh, the Roland SH-1000 and 2000. Um, there's also some other quite cool bits of gear out at that time like the RE201 which is a very famous Roland product um, is a space echo effect mm. and also the Yamaha Adam you're going to like this one GX1 I love which, that do you know what that what that was uh, an organ yeah it was basically a massive organ and it was like a predecessor to the CS80 mm. um, so it had that kind of similar sound but it was in an organ kind of format um, so the Odyssey was produced between 72 and 1981 and become their became their best selling synth. Uh, it's a two oscillator synth, switchable between sawtooth and square. Uh, it also has pulse width, so you can s- adjust the size of that square wave. Um, it has oscill- oscillator sync, ring mods, and two types of noise, pink and white. It has a high pass filter and a self oscillating uh, low pass filter, as LFO, sample and hold, and two envelopes. And it's also duophonic, which is quite interesting. Um, like the Minimoog, for instance, is only monophonic. So that just gave you a little bit of extra um, flexibility in terms of creating different types of sound. Obviously, you could then play two notes at once instead of one. Um, it had three, 37 keys, um, and it had a panel full of coloured sliders and switches, like the mm. one for you, those of you on video we can see behind us here. Um, it had an octave switch and pitch mod controls. There were actually eight different models in total. There were loads eight of them. Eight different models, yeah. wow. So and they spanned those three different Mark versions as they were called there back then, Mark One and Two and Three. Um, so Mark One, the model twenty eight hundred, um, was a white face with black lettering uh, between nineteen seventy two and nineteen seventy five. That was Gwinter. produced. Sorry, I go into zombie, aren't you? Oh, is he? He's a cool dude. That's so it's such a cool image, isn't it? And yeah, that's the other thing you'll notice with these. There's lots of adverts with like artists in them mm. back then, which is like Stevie Wonder and Ed Winter and stuff. So anyway, yeah. Sorry, back to um, what I was talking about. So. Between 72 and 75, that was made. Uh, used a two-pole voltage control filter design. That was called Model 4023. It was actually similar to the Oberheim SEM modules. It had a rotary knob as a pitch bend control. Uh, you, again, you might see that on some of these images as we're scrolling through if you're watching on video. Um, some models produced 1974 to 5, switched to a redesigned black front gold lettering. So that, that actually became the Mark II then, um, which would then launch the next year. Um, in 75 to 78 and that continued from late mark one models and into the mark twos uh, the five different models produced um, models 2810 to 2815 so they just gradually started tweaking the different parameters and features in there improvements included a better tracking vco um, power supply was slightly different sample and hold memory keyboard current source allowing cv and gate to be added because it didn't have that originally uh, ppc proportional pitch control controller a bit of a mouthful uh yeah. that was basically three pressure sensitive buttons so that's the one that's on the current remake of the arp odyssey oh, originally okay. that was a knob um so they went with that com- slightly different controller this could also be re- retrofitted to earlier models as well uh the biggest change was the filter early models of the 2810 had the 4023 filter from the mark one but this was replaced by a beefier four pole vcf um filter and that was model 4335. So it's a lot of spec here, but I think for those people who are really into the, the way the Odyssey is uh, transitioned, if you like, through the years, it's quite interesting. So this was a ladder filter, it was similar to the Moog one. Mm. Um, but due to the similarity of these two filters, Moog and ARP came to an agreement that ARP would change it and design a new po- four pole OPF filter, uh, model 4075, which we're using all subsequent models. So mm. I think there wasn't any, there weren't any. Um, lawsuits involved but Mo- Moog or Moog or whatever you want to say it they probably weren't too impressed that <laughs> Art basically copied their filter yeah, we're going to need you to change that <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah here's one of those so the Mark III one 
uh, the black face with orange, orange and white yeah. lettering um, was uh, produced between 1978 and 81. So this was models 2820 to 2823. Um, it added an XLR output to the existing quarter inch outs. Um, the chassis was also not as deep so that the key overhung a little. So on the remake we've done, we've made the chassis kind of similar to the Mark II actually, or the Rev II, uh, but with the original Mark III. I don't know if you've really got any pictures of it, but um, the keys were overhanging a little bit. Mm. Um, and I've heard a few tales of people snapping them, you know, during gigs and things, or, you know, when setting up. You can kind of make it out. Kind yeah. of make it out there. Yeah, you yeah. can, yeah. Make, so, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so um, ARP invested heavily then after that into the development of the Avatar, which was actually a, a 1977. <laughs> So well, I was going to say, what, that terrible film in 3D? <laughs> Long before that terrible film, yeah. Actually, it was a good film, actually. Yeah, it was. Like, it, yeah. I liked it. Doing a bit of an injustice. Yeah. Just needs to leave it now. Just, and you move on. He's doing yeah. like another 30 in here. Something yeah, there, something you know. like that, yeah. Digress. So, 1977, there was a module version of the Odyssey, but it was actually a guitar synth. So, right, it kind okay. of looked like an ARP Odyssey, Rev 3, if you like, or Mark 3, but it was a guitar module, so it had a special pickup you put on your guitar and you could kind of play it like a hmm. synth little bit ahead of its time almost I think I mean obviously Roland did their nice guitar since yeah, around yeah. those times but it didn't really take off so unfortunately it failed to sell very well and a lot of people kind of see this as the beginning of the end mm. for ARP as a company because they invested a hell of a lot of money mm. in that kind of concept so um, several other products did follow those such as the Quadra, Solus and Chroma they've all got such good names haven't they they really have right. yeah they're great sounds like a, like a fleet of spaceships essentially <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. they're a lot like films that I'd like to watch yeah well. exactly yeah yeah. about space and mm. being lost yeah uh, <laughs> lost in yeah like just generally mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, but so they did go into liquidation unfortunately in 1981 um but in ARP in uh, in uh, 2015, the ARP brand was resurrected and mm -hmm. revived by Korg, uh, and in collaboration with David Friend, who is the, one of the original founders, um, we we brought it back to life, and we reissued the ARP Odyssey. So the new version of the Odyssey uh, was available in three color schemes. I'll so tell you what, three... just while I what, No, go ahead. That's definitely something for uh, for John and it next time I'm with him. How did that all come about? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Who, who, I'd know, love to know. How did they, how did they like, go out for a drink one night or, or was it a conversation or yeah. a phone call? or? Yeah, we need to find that out because that would be what, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 it was a brand worth rescuing. Well, so, oh, yeah, so absolutely. Good. So when you start hearing about all the history as well, it's amazing mm. what it's been involved with. Um, so this the new versions of the Odyssey, those three versions... The Rev 1, 2, and 3, we called them, which were like the Mark 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Mark uh, Rev 1, obviously the white face. Rev 2, the black with the gold. And Rev 3, the black with the orange and white. Um, the Rev 3 is the only one that currently remains in the catalogue. So the other two were limited runs, as we know. Um, they were actually 86% of the size, so not quite full size. Yeah. Um, but they did include all three filters mm. from the originals. So to keep everyone happy... Um, had we added a few things as well for kind of modern production techniques like MIDI and USB as well as a new overdrive switch um, a headphone jack with adjustable volume balanced XLR and jack outputs uh, it came with patch cables and a hard case included and the original manual as well so it's, yeah that was that's cool. cool I didn't know that was yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's so you get the original manual with it as well brilliant. which is neat um, so that was in 2015 the next year 2016 we released Odyssey iOS app, so that was basically a, an app version of the Odyssey, Odyssey in the app. Yeah, and you're looking there at there within Gadget yeah, actually. Yeah. So oh, don't um, get me started. Don't, still not yeah. Why have you, why have you still not got me switch call? <laughs> no. Move on quick. So this was slightly different because it, it was polyphonic for a start. It had effects in it, as an arpeggiator in it. It had X Y pads, mm. um, so you could use it a bit like a chaos pad, and of course you could save sounds. Um, and then following that, the same year. We incorporated it into Gadget, mm -hmm. which is uh, what Andy's showing here on the screen in the video version, if you're watching. Um, so it's called Lexington, actually, in Gadget, because all of the all of the equipment in Gadget has kind of code names, yep. if you like. So but it's exactly the same synth. It's called Lexington. Um, and then also that same year, so it was a big year for Odyssey, 2016, the Odyssey module came out. Yep. So that was exactly the same as the original uh, reissue, but without keys on it. So it was a, there was a Rev 1 and a Rev 3 version of that. So that was the white face and the black and orange face. Fairly sure that we've had 
discussions about which one's better. We have. Those, didn't, didn't we all fall on the uh, the Rev? I think we said Rev 1. one was yeah. it? The, the I white think one. If it was year. a module, it was Rev 1 for me. Mm. Yeah. But if it's an actual, you know, keyboard. keyboard. Yeah. Then it's Rev, it's three. Yeah. Rev 3. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Um, we all agree. Wow. It's yeah, That's not happened before. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, then 2017, um, Odyssey was added to the Korg Legacy Collection. So it was basically the app version then ported over to, to Mac and PC. Um, and also, in 2017, there was a full-size version in all three revs. Mega popular. Um, assembled in New York. Mm. Um, and then this year, of course, we've reissued that same thing. Um, that was called the Odyssey FS uh, for full-scale or full-size. And, and this year we've we've done it again, but the Odyssey FSQ, so which is the same thing, but this time it's made in Japan and it comes with a free SQ. <laughs> I'm scrolling through. Really. He's trying to find. He's got it <laughs> smooth. Yes, yeah. see that. Love He's it. Been. Love Electric it. Fit then. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what was coming. It was good. It was good. There it is. So yeah, I love you've... this as well with the the kind of the red pin around it and the art logo. It's just yeah, it's, yeah. it looks really it's different great. actually, doesn't it? Does. it? it than looks... the Korg one, but it it's the same thing, but it's just branded art. So. But it, it works beautifully in conjunction with the um, the Odyssey because mm, obviously definitely. there's no sequence or anything on there. Um, so quick list of artists uh, just to finish off. So we've got ABBA, we've got Bomb the Bass, Ultravox, Gary Newman, LTJ Bucum, um, Air, Tangerine Dream, 808 State, Apollo 440, Nine Inch Nails, Astral Projection, Chick Corea, George Duke, um, some of the other ones we haven't said already, Elton John, um, Jimmy Edgar, Vangelis, Vangelis. There's just loads. Herbie Hancock, REM. Yeah, just there uh, you too many. Pete to Shaw, Pete Shaw. Yeah, did he have one? I think he did. Yeah, he must have done. So there that is That's the brilliant. That's really good. That's really so really you got a video that. as well. Uh, that the video I've got is of the um, is of Ben Burt talking. So yeah, they've already seen it. Right. All <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. So well, you don't get to say. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, we just heard the audio, but when in the fully produced version, right, which will be released, right, that's great. People will see him. Ah, oh, I like it. Oh, look, I've got it there. I could just play. Oh, yeah, it now. you we could play. Right. We could watch it again if you want. Watch it. Yeah. Should we do it? Do you want yeah. To well, how it? long is it? Is it the one we have on before? It's about halfway it's through. Three right? hours. That's the only problem. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah. Down. Well, let's have a let's have a quick break, and then we'll come back with what happened in 1972. Yes. So see you in a minute. When I first saw this, it immediately brought back old memories of my beginnings as a synthesizer player. I enjoy analog gear. I'm an analog guy. I play it mostly because it has character and personality to it. To be able to have access to all the parameters right on board with no presets is just my kind of music. I love it. first thing that I noticed is that this looks like the instruments that I started with, with a few extra things that weren't available at that time. It's colorful, it's classic, it's fresh, it's beautiful to play. The layout makes it very user-friendly for learning how synthesis works. It's vintage, it's warm, it's analog, it's, it's a synth, it's the Odyssey, the Odyssey is back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> a few false starts there. <laughs> so, as always, 1972 was an amazing year because it was the year of the Arp Odyssey. But it was also the year of many other things. So let's take a step back in time to 1972. I, now, feel, I feel like we should have all spun round and then been wearing like seventies <laughs> clothes <laughs> just then. That would have been well, me. you know. Now, I see it says there 1993. <laughs> so we're going to have to just... Kind of Are we doing that again? I would have to apologise. I was really up against it. And right. I, I didn't have time to create the jingle. So All right. So okay, I'll let you off. We'll have to do it. Freestyle. Here we go. 1972. What happened in 1972? World changing event. Oh, we start off. Intel invented the single chip microprocessor. The birth, pretty much, of the home computer. Of Skynet. Yep. That is uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, the f uh, top song was The First Time I Ever Saw Your Face by Roberta Flack uh, Watership Down the book came out brutal um, very sad very sad uh, again loads of bad news obviously as there always is Bloody Sunday was 1972 um, so quotes this is a new one quotes hey Mick what's he what's saying he say? 
Famous quote, quotes. <laughs> Famous quotes of 1972. Governor. Hey, hey, Mikey. He likes it. Life cereal ad. Uh, it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken. What? <laughs> I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Do you remember that one? No. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Godfather, come oh, on. Of course, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. I thought you were uh, talking about adverts or something. Time Magazine's Men of the Year was Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger. Um, the scandals. We won't do scandals. We don't do scandals. Just good stuff. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. The Battle of the Sexes was over once and for all when Billie Jean King beat Bobby Riggs in three straight tennis sets. That, wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. HBO, or Home Box Office, was launched by Time Warner. There we go. Uh, Chrysler bought electronic ignition to automobiles in mm. 1972. So what did they do before that? <clears throat> like, the crank, crank on the front. I idea. I wasn't born then. Nor was I, right in, tell us what happened in cars before <laughs> 1972. What happened in cars? <laughs> <laughs> Next section. From the guy with the shelf, Andy. <laughs> What happened? Tell us, please tell uh, which us. Which shelf? Knees one. <laughs> Claws had a lot less static cling in 1972, thanks to the introduction of bounce dryer sheets. Wow. There wow. we go. The cost of a Super Bowl ad in 1972 was $86,000. Wow. Okay. Mm. Many pounds. Uh, it's a lot of prologue. Singer and guitarist Chuck Berry's only number one single was a live recording of a raunchy New Orleans tune called My Ding a Ling. That was in <laughs> 1972. <laughs> uh, don't go there. I'd like to have heard. It that. was the year of Pong in the arcades. Oh, there we was go. It? Now we're yeah. talking. Right, okay. Hackety Sacks and watching The Godfather in theatres were all popular that year. Hackety Sacks. Yeah. I thought it was Hacky Sacks. Hacky Sacks. <laughs> Hackety sex sounds like a 1920s annoyance. Ah, like, oh, hackety sex. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Pash made a hackety sex. <laughs> First appearance, most popular Christmas toys was Pong, of course. Dawn dolls. <laughs> hacky sack. Uh, seance game. We'll just move on from that one. Yeah. Nerf football. Um, seance game. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that one is. West End Shores. Or if we start with an East End Shore. The opening of Jesus Christ Superstar in 1972. Great. And closed in 1980. Wow. So that wow. had a run and half, yeah. didn't it? Broadway Shaw, Greece, opened in February. Was that Lloyd Webber's first uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, I it was, no, I don't think it was. Was it not? Joseph, I don't know. I should know. No, I just thought. Pippin opened. To st- no, I was thinking of, if that was his first. It was pretty, pretty well, much of a yeah, banger, wasn't it? it, it was, one. It was, well, it was. Big scandal at the time, if you yeah. remember. People queuing up outside saying it shouldn't be done and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Sorry about this. <laughs> Popular <laughs> TV shows, All in the Family, Sanford and Son, Hawaii Five O, uh, Mary Tyler Moore Show, Gunsmoke, The Wonderful World of Disney, Ironside. What do you mean, The Wonderful World yeah, of Disney? Just <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't born in that. <laughs> no, was I. No it's, it's a program your... called The Wonderful World oh, of program. Disney. Oh, okay. This right, is all okay. TV programs. Right. Adam 12, see? Uh-huh. I was in there. Mm. Um, number one songs featured things like American Pie, Let's Stay Together, Al Green, Heart of Gold, Neil Young, Horse With No Name, America. Uh, the first time I ever saw your face, Roberta Flack, April 15th to May the 26th at number one. Well, there, there we go. There we go. Specific. Fun fact. Uh, the Candyman. Sammy Davis Jr. Song Sung Blue, classic, Neil Diamond. Um, <laughs> this is like just one of your Spotify playlists, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah. Ben, Michael Jackson. My <laughs> Dingling, there it is, there Chuck Berry. <laughs> uh, I can see clearly now, Johnny Nash. Papa was a Rolling Stone, The Temptations. So some some classics in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard of um, So yeah, so that it all happened in 1972. There we go. So, uh, so, go so moving on to computer games. Um, and that was computer games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. films come out? Pong. Oh, yeah, oh so films. Films. You, did, films. films. you did say Godfather, didn't you? Godfather came out. Yeah. Deliverance. That was one, wasn't it? Was that, um, was it, was it that year? I think so. no, 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 no. What's that? Deliverance. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Banjo, isn't it? Is it not? Ding, 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 ding. That's more Probably. accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you sang. Now you sang Who's tuning it up for you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> films. Here we go. Godfather. There we go. Cabaret. Cabaret. Great film. Oh. Uh, Deliverance. There we are. Uh, what else have we got that, that year? I bet that's the three films that the we've The Candidates, Frenzy, no. Sleuth, no. Play It Again Sam, The Getaway, no. uh, Ben. 
Yeah. Jeremiah Johnson, The Poseidon Adventure. Yeah, I heard of oh, that. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, we like that one. Yeah. Last House on the Left, The Last <laughs> Tango in Paris. Uh, like really Solari- obscure directions. No, Solaris. We said that before. Why is that that's coming up in yeah, 1970? No With idea. George Clooney. Silent Running. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Silent Running. <laughs> yeah. No, Apparently. not cool runnings. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what you think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Man of La Mancha. Um, no. no. Any more that we know on here. What was Silent Running there? Was it like a sci fi thing? The Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Oh. Beware of the Blob. Oh, I've, that's a great film. Is it? I'm not that is that. Really Way good. of the Dragon. That wasn't with, that with was Bruce that Lee. Nice, yeah. I don't know. Ah, great film, that. Listen, I'm, I'm on Google here. Yeah. Anything could happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anything could happen. All these could be wrong. This has to be true. It's on Google. So yeah. It has to be true. Other it's search it's on, engines uh, are available. Indeed. So there we go. Bing. So that's um, rounds off that section. Yeah. Okay. What's next? So now, oh, at this state, time of the show, we'd have some kind of game. But obviously, um, Andy has been in touch with our friends in America mm. organising the game. So we'll hopefully have that for next month. So this yes. is when we'll slot in. The new game. It's going to be good as well. I think. I think. I think. I'm I mean, I'm, I'm, to it. I think I'm going to have to sit on the sidelines and just pitch you guys I've against done the each research, other. Research everything. Is, I was ready. I was swatting <laughs> up. Great. Yeah. I've, yeah. I'm going to fail. That's well, fine. We'll see. We'll see. We'll so see. we'll move on. So the next section of the show, we go into gear goggles. Gear goggles. Here we go. Yeah. So let's do it. This part of the show is when we talk about gear that has been uh, spotted on TV or on Twitter or, or whatever. So ah. Luke normally compiles us a bit of a list. So we're going to do it differently this time. Is yeah. that right? I yeah. thought I think we're going to try. Apparently, it, I, this is all get... a surprise to me. So I'm 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 going to so turn and look you, at the telly. You just you just roll in, don't you? At the end. Yeah, yeah, for you, <laughs> yeah, so. absolutely. So there we go. So let, what's this one then? Dave Sol is currently playing the S- SV1 again. Is, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's the SV1 it's show again. Yeah. Why it was? Uh, he's currently playing the SV1 on the Stephen Wilson tour. So there we go. There we so go. On. Who else we got? Oh look, we've lost some of the uh, some of the image there. So who we got here then, Luke? Who's this? <laughs> I can't even read that from. It's, a, it's from Twitter. It's Dio Wuso. Oh, okay. AKA Piano Man. And he's playing. It's a Kronos, isn't it? Yeah. yeah he's he's living life. Me and my happy place. There we go. This is uh, Niji Adelu. And he's playing a Kronos as well. Look at that, oh, look at that. Yes. Now this Poly is a serious good. setup. It is. Yeah, he's got an Arp Odyssey. Yeah. And an SQ-1. SQ-1. Chaos Pad, is it? Yeah. That's a nice little selection there. Vulgar Vulcan. Beats oh, and a Poly 800. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely love Poly as well. This That's is great. Ship's Music. Yeah. Here we go. These are the guys from MGMT, I think, aren't they? They're coming they in. That was over in the Cool, cool, cool Gear Set. Yeah, they're looking at the prologue. Checking out before it comes through. Yeah. Whoa, that's, someone's enjoying that. <laughs> What have we got there? There's the cross. Is that the cross one or the cross two? The cross one. There we go. I like this doing this. This is this whole live thing. Yeah, it's it like this, this is People good. on podcasts will be going, this is a bit boring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. wild body images. This is yeah. why you need to watch our video, you see. Yeah. Yeah. We're involved now. So yeah. 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 Who else we got? This is Thought. I'm not quite sure how you say that, but it's T H O T O T. Mini log. Mini log, yeah. It's not got any shoes on either in that picture. Grey Goo Beats. Grey Goo Bots. There we go. That's cool. More mini logs. More mini logs. Oh, it's Peter Gabriel. And he's got a Kronos in the background. Very nice. Uh, here oh, we go. Here he is. Now we're talking. What, what a picture yeah. that is. Yeah. Well, how good would that be? Stood in the, in the middle of... Uh, that's just amazing. He's in the Super Bowl there, for those of you who... Yeah, yeah this audio. is Justin Timberlake's keyboard player. Yeah. Stood yeah. with his prologue. Here he is. Who we got there? Who's this? Oh, this is Sextile. So this is a, a Manchester-based band. Um, who uh, we've been working with and they're using um, some Vox stuff and also an MS20 Mini as well. Mm. Nice. This is the review of their Manchester show calling them Korg Throb. Korg Throb. <laughs> so okay. they, they love their Korg gear. So here we've got Alistair Bednall and um, he's from Stang Music. Uh, what's he got there? Oh yeah, he's got an SP280. He's quite. He's using it not just as a, as well. yeah, not just like as a stage printer, but he's using it more of in a kind of production environment, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Your electro, yeah. look at the Volker stand as well. Yeah, like that. Volker stand looks like a pound sign. I'm starting to feel <laughs> it bad. Does, yeah, <laughs> it does. I'm starting to feel bad for the people listening and not seeing this. Yeah, now, yeah, it's yeah, really missing out. Oh, there we go. Is this the yeah. this is the Brits, isn't it? So this is Justin Timberlake again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's Kronos. Kind of it's just so good, isn't it? Yeah, so good. Here we go. 
go. We've got the microphone coming in. Oh, Sam there, Marsh. Yeah, so he's a keyboardist in the States. So his quote is, Korg's unparallel, uh, unparalleled combination of sound quality and ease of use has kept their family of synthesizers in my arsenal for over 15 years and counting. Yeah. What a great quote. That what is. a sound, cool. Uh, Ninja Tune. On Earth from the archives. Yeah, he's using a Trinity. Oh, yeah, he's going for it. MTV Japan back in '96. <laughs> back when life was easy. One, is it? No. That's, fine, eh? That's cool. There we go. Well, this is um, this is again uh, Justin Timberlake. This is his MD, and he's waxing lyrical again about the prologue. That's too good. Isn't it? Yeah. So good. Go on, Vader's Dixon. Drum rig special. Yeah, he's a drummer, I think. Oh, Vader's okay. Dixon. Oh, he's, he's got, got a mini log in the middle of his drum kit, yeah. <laughs> which is yeah, which is yeah. Cool. Each of their own. Could void yeah. the warranty, but you know, it's yeah. um, If you miss your drum. Ah, this is Adam Mark from Don Bronco. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. okay. And he's up there with he's the chrome. He's using his chrome, yeah. yeah. And he's loving it. Yes, no, I've, I've spoken with Adam. We're hoping to get him on the uh, the show, actually. On the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great. Yeah. In fact, we should just go and see a show and then yeah. just get a bit of a free ride. Yeah, yeah. Great. Backstage passes. <laughs> There it is Justin again. Look, Justin Timberlake really again with his prologue. We, we are going on with the Justin Timberlake. But also thing, but the Kronos awesome, as well is in that shot. So it's a Kronos prologue mm. rig, and I personally can't think of a better rig in the world. No, no. no. agreed. Rachel Platten as well with the SV1. Yeah, SV1 at the Olympics, the opening yeah. ceremony. Yeah. I tell you what, we're bringing it out with this. <laughs> we one. are. It's all quite low-profile yeah. stuff. Yeah. Got it all covered. Peter Daly. Peter Daly. So he's Paloma Faith's uh, keyboard player. He's using his Kronos. I think we're there. That's it. We've got it. We've I done like it. that. I like enjoyed good, that on yeah. the uh, little TV. So yeah. for those of you that didn't get the ch- opportunity to see some of those, um, check out our video. Be on the Microcast YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube uh, and search Microcast. And you'll find okay. us. Uh, so that's Patch Talk. No, it's not. That's <laughs> 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 not you there. So that's <laughs> Gear Goggles. So I think it's break time. Yes. And then we'll come back for the final wrap up. We section. Th- are we are we fetching anyone else in now? Are we doing that, or are we gonna are we gonna have, have a guest? Or? We'll have to just see who we've, who's free. We'll see who's in the yeah. kitchen. When see we, we can brew. see if yeah. we can find someone while we're yeah. having a brew. Right, let's do it. See you in a minute. Welcome back. We have a special guest. Andy's disappeared. We're joined, as always, by Ian Bradshaw, our core category manager for as the always. country. The legend that is. What have you got to tell us? But not always. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Ian. You see when we need him. It's great. So, um, what have you got to say? I, what thought, you got? I thought I would share with you some uh, information about downloads. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, We've got a jingle for that. Have we? We have. Okay. Here we go. Downloads, right? What's your what's your news? What have we got? Right, we're well, excited. Okay, well there there is some um, some stuff <gasps> already uploaded to Cork.com for download. Um, we've got two sets of data. We've got one for Minilog, which originated from uh, our Spanish distributor. Oh, amazing! Now they they've Ooh. been working with um, some of the most accomplished artists in Spain right, okay. to produce a set um, of sounds for for Minilog. And also, we've also got a set of sounds for for Monologue, which has been created by uh, Christian Halton. Um, he's a German composer, and what more can I tell you? He it's is free. one of the most iconic contemporary German composers. All oh, right, okay, nice, yeah. cool. So. Um, <clears throat> I'll be perfectly honest, I haven't um, sat down and listened to all of those sounds. Listen, you're a busy man, Ian. There's only so much you can do. We need to check them out. We need to check them out. But there is good reason. Um, 
I've been working with another artist, a guy called FM Bass. He's a yeah. sound designer. He's released some, well, he's, he's provided for us some sounds for Monologue. We're in the process of uploading those to Korg.com. Um, awesome. So, so we're yeah, getting a bit of a sneak preview here, are we? We are having a, yeah. a sneak preview. So nice. so there's there's 30 patches and there's also 30 sequences. And what oh. makes it very unique is as soon as you start the sequence of running, there's all this drum stuff going on, which I've no idea where it's coming from. So Magic. He, he's done some really clever stuff there. It's a bit, it's a bit like the Aphex <coughs> Twin Patches on the... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you turn off the arpeggio, uh, the uh, step sequence, and you play a note. It's like, right, <laughs> and then you start it, and then there's like, all this <laughs> mad stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah. like <laughs> starts happening. So it's similar to that. It's, it it's like. similar th yeah. kind of thing to that. But um, the guy's called Mark, and he's based in in Belgium. We've been talking for about three months, and uh, we finally got to the point where that's all being Excellent. prepared for. So uploads. he's like a pen friend. <laughs> well, or more of a tap type friend, I suppose. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But we've not exchanged recipes. It's just really sounds. Okay. It's all business. Just sounds. Yeah. Sound, business, sound yeah. recipes. Yeah, 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 I guess so. Amazing. But, so I look yeah, forward to that. So that, that's really good. Um, the other thing which has been, well, bubbling under for many years, actually. Right, um, okay. Luke and I have completed <clears throat> with um, the team in Japan uh, a data set for Chrome. All right. Okay. Now this is quite unique in that um, it's a it's a sample library as well, and Sample Magic have very kindly provided us with some teaser um, extracts from Progressive House Two and their white label East Coast House, right. and it's all combined into one data set. Um, there's uh, drum kits. There's fifty programs. Um, all of those, both of those genre, and there's uh, a couple of demo sequences which showcases um, oh, cool. all the samples. So yeah, it's some just lovely samples in there. It, yeah, it, it, nice. yeah, it kind of uh, takes what is normally seen as quite a serious instrument into that more kind of cool, edgy dance mm. yeah. area yeah, of yeah. music, and <clears throat> um, it, it's it's. Uh, I'm very pleased with the results. I think. And how um, much is that going to cost, Ian? Uh, it's going to be quite free. Oh, free! Free! It's free! <laughs> free! I love free! <laughs> Tell you what, we're bringing it today. So I think uh, rather than wasting lots of listeners' time going over and over that work, next time we do the podcast, it will all be online and we'll... We'll, we'll have, talk we about have it. Yeah. We, we can have a listen yeah, to it. So, uh, Get the chrome out. Some do beats. some more Shadow of the Beast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, wicked that was when you did that. Yeah. Okay, and then <laughs> let me just grab my notes. The other thing... There's more! Is, There's more! Well, it's uh, prologue. There's been a. Oh, it's update. Excel exclusive. It's new. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm excited. So, pro prologue is uh, prologue. What does he have for dinner today? <laughs> no, I don't know. We've been feeding him like sh pure sugar or something. Blue no, no, oh, it's the iron brew. It's the, it's the iron, iron brew. brew. That's what it is. Is that the old recipe? Yeah, it's from Gunders. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old recipe. Gunders. <laughs> One pound. Managed to get it for. Get it now before it disappears. It's his sixth bottle now. He's on. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Even though Kronos has not yet shipped in uh, Europe I'm just excited I'm um, excited for it the will prologue. be it will be shipping this month actually I know, on the 23rd I know. Yeah. so I don't yeah. know if you've already mentioned that but we have. Um, worth mentioning th again, there's though. an update which has been released which has improved the oscillator <laughs> can't response. get any better <laughs> come on <laughs> sorry <laughs> there's some other housekeeping things yeah, that yeah, fixed, yeah yeah but nobody would have noticed them because they haven't had a yeah. prologue yeah, yet yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so it's been upgraded before yeah. it's come out so, <laughs> so really the underlying message is when you get your lovely new shiny prologue make sure you do the upgrade it's not essential but in order for it to be um, running as smoothly as possible and efficiently um, yeah, just make sure you get because obviously they're on the water at the moment so we can't mm. upgrade them before they're here so no, no. they'll go out yeah, it's part of Korg's ongoing yeah, improvement well, well, program they always get better don't they yeah. yeah better and better and that's it really Brilliant. that's all I've got Thanks I mean, that. I, that's I, mean good. I, I say is that, that's all I've got but everything I've offered is for free so that's you can't serious. really complain at that you can you? argue with free oh Andy's lurking in the background now what you got there what's that oh. we can do live, li live action catch you live and shit <laughs> go on then incoming Oh, oh. <laughs> Strange to the mic, nice. So we mentioned a couple of months ago about this. Oh yeah, the yes. Korg uh, lolly thing that you put. You you, you watch the podcast. We <laughs> promised we we're going to give Listen. it away. Well, we've still got it, but we haven't given it away yet. So we're going to do a competition um, next yep. month. So next month, yeah. This will be given away. The only one in the UK. Yeah. Turn your ice lolly into a Korg synthesizer. 
Well, a so, sample trigger is pro- yeah, you're over-promising yeah, yeah. slightly. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Just, you'll see. You like your own samples into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I think the... I'm the, the <laughs> I'm, I must say, it's not been in my possession for the last two months. So it might need a wash. Well, not that, but looking at the lid, it looks like it's been in and out a few times. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> exciting, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Give that away and a piece of cork chocolate. <laughs> bit, of, bit of lick on <laughs> top of it, just needs wiping away. Yeah, it needs a bit of a wipe. Nice. Look at that lady on there. I love that picture on the front there, though. The surprised uh, Japanese lady. Looking at the, it uh, in awe. Maybe you should show that to the I, camera. I think maybe. they're actually getting an electric shock, aren't they? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Mild electric shock. Other way, man. Other way, dear. Other way. She's, she's all oh, she's here. there as well, yeah. look. <laughs> oh, I think people can do the Snapchat thing. Is there a, is there a Snapchat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is there a Snap on there? I don't think so. It just looks like it. So, so yeah. So that's next month. Okay, so thanks, thanks, thanks for, for that, Ian. Really good. And we'll You're no welcome. doubt see you again. You will, yeah. And as I say, next month, well, everything will be released, so you can yeah. probably feature it audio-wise as yeah. well. Yeah, exciting. There Thank you. Yeah. Stuff. Right, I'm right. off to carry on preparing for Seventh Wave. Yes, right. we mentioned that earlier, but by the time they hear this, it, it will have already done, happened. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we will so we'll we'll review it next yes. time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Nice. Thanks, mate. Dead air, this is dead air. This is dead air. Yeah. Come on, we need Go to on. talk. We need to talk. Ian, have you got me a switch cord yet? No. <laughs> Jesus. I haven't even got myself one. We haven't even got a switch, mate. That'd be <laughs> <laughs> I could be really funny now, couldn't I? I'd give you like a little rocker switch and say, there you go. <laughs> that wouldn't be, that'd be very cruel. <laughs> that would be funny. <clears throat> I'm desperate to play the old oh. gadget on switch. If anyone out there has manages to uh, I've done can it. possibly send me a, fr- uh, a cord for a, a nice early access... Just want to see it and please tease it on the podcast. John is talking to you again. I am John. <laughs> please, it's a direct appeal. <laughs> <laughs> please, it's another direct appeal. If yeah. honest, isn't it? it's not like right. Then on moving on. <laughs> Tony oh. Organ. We mentioned him at the oh, top yes. of the show. What's he been up to? Well, Tony Organ. He's not been on for a while. No, he's been and busy. it's because he's been busy. Yeah. Yeah. Because what he's been doing? Skating. He's been rollerblading. Yeah. But what he's also been doing, he's playing his Volker on the beach. But what he's also been doing, is converting all of his books steadily, one by one, onto Android. Yes. Ah, okay. So, Tony Hogan, hashtag Korg, hashtag Volker, hashtag expert. Uh, he's got some of his um, guides, his expert guides are now in the Android uh, right. shop. So which ones? Because I've no idea where they are. But if you go to <laughs> at the the Tony Hawk, no, the only reason why is it's terrible signal in here, and I can't get online and find it. Fair enough. But if you go to if you follow Tony, because he's a legend anyway, yeah. at the Tony Hogan, because there's only one. It's yeah. the Tony. It's the one and only. Uh, he's um, he's uploading the beat sample kick base so they're all on the way so he's very very busy it's with that so worth minute. getting them as well if you've got so those, worth you and it. he's done a Volker video for us that yeah, I saw the other the day mix. on the Volker mix yeah. oh yes so it's check that out on the well. Korg YouTube channel which is also about legend. to end isn't it that's, that's, it is. that's legend day now. yeah are you okay legend yeah I'm Can just you? excited Luke. Um, right that's <laughs> it Rocking. get the iron <clears> that's get, it get it away from him that's it we don't no I thought he was coming back in then are we done is that it today we're done we've just got the wrap up now Oh no! Okay. So have you got Let anything you rapping. want to talk about? Get off your chest, Andy, before next time. I think, I think I, I don't know if we should go there. No, no, I haven't. No, I'm going to leave it. No. <laughs> Why? What were you going to say? Uh, You're I, amongst friends. I just I spotted the other day that there's a certain film coming out on DVD any any time now, but I don't know if we can talk about it anymore. No, we can't. Which film? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Not no. <laughs> No, we've done that. No, we? We've, we've, we've done it to death. No, we'll leave, we'll leave it alone. It was um, yeah. probably be better on DVD. Um, anyway, turn it <laughs> off. But don't forget to get on our uh, what's he call it? Micro um, Instagram. That's the word. <laughs> yep. Instagram. Uh, so, uh, what, Andy, it's your thing. Go on, you tell us about. Just go it. on to Instagram, search yep. um, Korg Microcast, which is the name of the page, and get involved. Just like some of our pictures. Yep. And send if you need to some. send any messages, you can just send direct messages as well. And yeah. happy to, Don't uh, forget, to retweet anything like that. Please or. email us stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Microcast at korg.co.uk. If you send me an email now. No, that you haven't sent me one because <laughs> me, me phone hasn't buzzed. We will all get buzzes and That'd we can all be very respond. strange if it happened though, wouldn't it? That would be amazing. Yeah. Not <laughs> Imagine that. It's yeah. just, it's be, weird. It'd be John yeah. again. He knows everything. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. If you've got any ideas... 
you want to send us something, send us some nice pictures of you with your core gear, we can put on the um, gear goggles. Gear goggles. Mm. Yeah. You can star on the screen. Yeah. Yes. If you want to come and be on the podcast, send us an email. Yeah. If you um, hashtag microcast, then I will see that. Andy will stalk, see that. And, start stalking uh, and also yeah. follow us on Twitter at Microcast, at Adam Korg UK, at Andy Korg UK, even though he doesn't use it, and Luke <laughs> at, at Korg, Korg Luke. Luke. So, yeah, so leave us some reviews on iTunes. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, yeah. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave us some comments on YouTube. Yes. Nice comment. Well, it doesn't have to be nice. If you've got comments. any suggestions or things we could improve, obviously we can't improve, but if you <laughs> really think we could, then, yeah. You know, Send us a an suggestion. Yeah. Hang on, is your phone vibrating? Like really quickly now, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Some suggestions. Here we go. Yeah, but. exactly. So that's it. That's so a wrap. This is it. So what, how do you feel about the new kind of setup then? Is I it like it. Yeah, I like it. I, it. I, I feel like I want cards to like shuffle right, at yeah. the end. Actually, you know, yeah. we need to do this shuffling thing. We need the lights to dim. Yeah. But we also need like a, a, a light news story dun, dun, to go dun, out with, dun, don't dun, we? We do. Dun, like, meanwhile, dun, in dun, dun, no, Egypt wouldn't be good for light, would it? You know what I mean? In other news. There we go. You know, meanwhile in Egypt, you know, that might be something. It's <laughs> snowing. A cat slides yeah. down a pyramid. Ah, oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look uh, at that. Have we got any, are there any funny stories? Funny story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just. <laughs> Anything that you want to uh, end on, Andy? Anything? Any anecdotes? I've got one. West Ham football team. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go back to the hat, aren't we? Again? It's gone all quiet. It's gone yeah. all quiet. So thank you for listening and watching. Um, please like us, share us. Talk about us. Um, it all helps. Tell you, man. Uh, so that's it. Episode 21. March already. Done. It's done. Here we'll we see you next month. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.